This is Kuhn Cassis for Rifle TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in Newcastle here. Uh, I'm joined by Jose Stewart. Uh, frustrating night for you? Yeah, very. You know, um, I thought it was going well. I was getting my jab off good. Just rammed it down his face a few times in the end like that. Um, you know, he just he tried to make it a hugging contest, lunging in. But um, at the end of the day, we went in there with our game plan. We was executing it well. A few times I went off track and just got drawn into it a bit, but yeah, I thought I'd done enough. There were, well, there was a moment there where you were aggravated about, uh, I think it was hitting after the bell. Can you kind of just yeah, talk few, me through that? A few times when he ain't got no composure, he ain't a professional. He's talking about, I don't take the game serious. Yeah, the man's a joker. He's got a hat-headed fool. Got no sportsmanship. But they want to run it back. We can run it back at some point. Flipping, we get back to the drawing board and do whatever. Whoever fights the next, whether it's him, whoever, whoever. We get in there, handle our business. We meet down the line or whenever. It seems like before that this fight was kind of wasted over four rounds, do not. But I think now it has to be run back, doesn't it? I think there has to be some sort of conclusion from this. Yeah, at some point, um, even though we feel like it was a clear win, but, um, yeah, it does have to be run back. We need to make sure that decisions are W, a big W at that. Um, so yeah, like I say, we go back to the drawing board. Whatever's next, so, um, have a chat with the team, the management, talk with us, and see where we go from here. But from your side, you believe you kind of you done, done everything that was kind of instructed, and from your own personal point of view as well, you feel like you did everything. But obviously, that the decision didn't go your way in that way. Yeah, I'd say about 80, eighty-five percent of the game plan I followed, stuck to it well. Like I said, at some points um, I got drawn out, and um, you know I went off track a little. Well, you know we clawed it back, got back to the jab, got back to my feints, slamming him with them shots. But um, yeah, like I say. Once that decision goes, that's why you got to knock them out. Once, once that ball goes and it's in the ref's hands or the judges, you can only stand there and wait till your hand gets raised or whatever. The 19 or so pound weight loss, how did that kind of impact you or did it hinder you in some ways? Um, no, not much of any, so um, hardly any difference. Like I said many times, the weight, the weight weren't a major issue. It's just um, obviously once we get to the real fights, damn right, yeah, we need to be on weight. We need to be sharp as possible make sure there's nothing going against us. Um, but in terms of this camp, yeah, the weight come down, felt sharper, my feet were there, that little bit longer, I had more energy about myself, but um, yeah, like I say, it's just one of those. And so now, again, uh, I'm sure you'll have a, a day or so off and then back in the gym and then, yeah, just have to look to what's next for you. Yeah, back in the gym one day, we work through August, wait on a date, we're well, not even wait on a date, we we'll work to a date. And we keep it building from right there. But can I bring my coaches in, please? Of course. Um, yeah, first, I want to give, out, give a sh massive shout Let me out just there. Uh, move this back because there's a little bit of a size difference here. Yeah, wait there, one second. Right, hold on one sec. Right. Five few shot there. Go on, yeah. yeah I want to give a massive shout out to my coach, Anthony Manning. You know, I see him there. Birmingham, he's got the best facility in the Midlands. You know, um, we come to him. To get that, you know, that grounded one-to-one -one work, make sure we're taking ourselves to the next level. He jumped at the opportunity, he knew everything's against him. You know, he's taken on, taken on the fat man, the fat man that can't punch, can't move, ain't got no gas in the tank. And, you know, we worked for about four and a half weeks, five weeks, a couple of the times, had a few little niggles and illnesses. And he just brought me through the gym and just kept pushing me, pushing me, and um, just stuck that game plan on me. You know, we're going out there, we're going to be the boss. Stick him on that jab, make him feel it, make people see a little bit of what I'm about. We know we ain't finished that equal, but um, I'll let him have a little say. Anthony, uh, a frustrating result? Yeah, I definitely think it was frustrating. I think Jose was working behind the lead hand. I think Jose was working behind the lead hand and just breaking him off a little bit. And uh, obviously on the inside, Jose was working as well. The guy was frustrating Jose by being a bit dirty. We were trying to draw him into a fight. Um, obviously, we only had like four or five weeks for that fight training. Jose gave me everything he had. I gave him everything I had. And that was a result. I definitely think we won. But a, a rematch does seem the most uh, obvious thing. It may may not happen. I'm, I'm sure, like for both fighters, if they go a different route, they do. But at some point, it's got to be run back again, surely. Yeah, I think it's sensible <laughs> that Ho Jose gets um, gets a result that obviously we work for. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's got to make sense for Jose's career as well. Um, obviously, you know, he's young. He's he's got the world at his feet. He's a good heavyweight, uh, he's got power, he's got good feet, good speed. So he's in the game, but obviously at this start of his career, I don't really want to be taking on too many undefeated <laughs> fights. I think it builds for a big fight over a longer time, to be fair with you. 
So uh, we'll go back to the drawing board and we'll work together. He'll get down in weight more and he'll be better than obviously he's been tonight. Okay, guys, appreciate your time. Jose, have you got anything else you want to add before we finish? Yeah, just want to give a big shout out to all my sponsors once again. You know, we've got uh, RG Bucks, obviously my previous coach. He worked well with me, pushed me in my last camp. Fire Walker Gym, my amateur um, boxing club. You know, the building up the next generation. we got one eye, RIP to him. You know, real Birmingham legend. Carrots and Kettles, Ultimate Fantasy Merch, <clears throat> Sport Mode UK. Working on um, you know the important side that many people forget your mentality in boxing, um, not even just in boxing, your mentality for athletes. Full stop. MH Sports Therapy, as you seen, I got a lot of the copying, keeping me firing. The perfect prep, keeping my meals on point, making sure that the weight's coming down. Flip, you know, supporting me. You know, you might see some of their merchandise. It's popping, and then onto the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got it's got the Doug Father uh, Manning's gym. And a whole lot of us, you can see them all there on print. Yeah, all right, yeah. all right. Shout out Good. to everyone, man. Wolverhampton, we're coming home soon. We're getting that Midlands fight, we're going to tear it up. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.